My name is Courtney Owen. I'm an engineer on the Office Platform Extensibility team. And specifically, I work on DevX features, uh, developer experience features. So uh, over the last quarter, we've shipped a couple of really cool features. One of them is the new debug extension for VS Code that allows you to debug task pane add-ins in Visual Studio Code. And you can develop and debug all in the same tool, something that wasn't possible until this extension was shipped to the uh, VS Code marketplace a couple weeks ago. So it has 217 downloads right now, which is pretty good, I think, for a couple weeks. I'll give you a little history on this. If you were to be developing a add-in, uh, task pane add-in in the past, you would have to, if you were authoring it in VS Code, you had no way to debug it in VS Code as well. You would have to either debug it online in Chrome Dev Tools, or use this tool called Edge Dev Tools. And doing so created a very disjointed experience. You had to hop back and forth between authoring and debugging. With this new extension, you can author and debug all in one tool. So I'm just gonna quickly demo how this works. I already have it installed here, but you can find it in the store under uh, if you just type in add-in, it'll be the first one that pops up. So what I have here is a little project, task pane project I created called uh, COVID Tracker. And basically it queries active COVID data and will show you a chart using Office JS. We'll kick it off here. And what this is gonna do, this will automatically sideload Sideload meaning launch the host application, register the add-in, and then it will automatically attach the debugger. So I'll click this. And I'm gonna go over to my code here. And I already have a couple breakpoints set. And we should see Excel launch in a second. This is where you're seeing the sluggishness of my machine. So we'll play some elevator music while this is proceeding. Okay, so we've got my test pane add-in loaded there. Now I'm going to go back to VS Code and this will attach in a second. There, we're attached. So you see the progress bar stopped. Now I'm going to go back to the add-in here. And so if I can just sort of give you an idea, in the past, I could have been coding this. And then if I wanted to debug it, I would either have to open this Edge Dev Tools and then pick this. I'm not going to open it now. Pick this COVID tracker, and then I could debug that task pane add-in. But it required going back and forth between two tools. So here I can... Debug and code, and what I'll show you is I can actually make changes and they're picked up immediately. So I'm going to get the data for the US. So we hit our breakpoint there. So now if I hover over this, you're going to see undefined. And if I F10 through it, and we look here, data, now we have the US data. So I'll carry on down through, and I hit another breakpoint here, and later on I'm going to change this to white, the background to white, so you can see that I can author and still keep my debug session attached. So then we'll go through this again. Data by country, and I'm going to change this to, actually I should have changed it the first time around. So let's do that again. Because see, it just reloaded there. OK. And now the other thing I'm going to do is at runtime, I'm just going to change the title of this chart in the watch window. And I'm just going to call it demo. And you'll see that that watch setting gets picked up 
and we'll go back to the chart and we see that the background is now white and the title is demo. And so the cool thing is that I can author the code, make changes at runtime. If you have your dev server running, it'll automatically pick up those changes and build automatically without losing your debug session. And uh, you can do all the sort of standard debugging stuff that you're used to. So that's available in the store now. A couple of uh, little caveats is you have to run VS Code as administrator, and that's because we need permissions to be able to inject our debugging code into the edge process. And then the other thing is that this will currently only work if you are using Edge Web View. In the very near future, we're going to switch to using Edge Chromium Web View. And so the debugger, once that happens, will not be able to attach to the uh, task pane process. We are planning on supporting that. I don't have a time frame on when that's going to happen, but we are planning to support Edge Chromium. We also have a tool which we were going to demo today that will allow you to switch the web view from Edge to Edge Chromium to even IE. So if you know you were running your web view in Edge Chromium, you still want to use this extension, you could use that tool just to switch back to Edge if you're running Edge Chromium. So that's about all I have. All right, thank you, Courtney. Yeah, we'll be yep. demoing that WebView switcher on the next month's community call. Um, there are a few questions for you if you have a second, Courtney. Sure. So a question from Jack. Uh, is there an ETA for the Mac Office apps? And will this support debugging projects built with bundles like Webpack for React or Vue? Uh, yes. It, so what this supports uh, currently right now, Webpack and TSC, TypeScript Compiler. So what, what I'm demoing right now is Webpack. And, uh, you know, Webpack, uh, we, we kind of inherited uh, this code from the Edge team. And one of the things that the Edge team did not support was Webpack. So I did a lot of work to get Webpack support in. Uh, Vue, I'm honestly not sure if, if that is supported. Uh, I could check after this and see. The second question about Mac, I don't, envision Mac being supported uh, in the very near future. This, the, the code base is very Windows centric and that would require quite a bit of work that I don't see us having allocated at this point in time. All right, uh, thank you, Courtney. We also had a couple of questions uh, around other IDEs or in particular just Visual Studio. Uh, will there be any uh, plans to support those? So Visual Studio right now, you can uh, debug task pane add-ins that run in IE right now in Visual Studio currently. If you were running in IE web view, uh, in your task pane add-in, there's actually a little button that you can click that says like open in Visual Studio. Uh, that's not supported in Edge, nor will it be supported in Edge Chromium, I believe. So. You know, Visual Studio has support for IE, I believe doesn't for Edge, maybe it will for Edge Chromium. Mm -hmm.